Good morning, my friends, and happy Monday. What an awesome day we had here at Askeville Assembly of God yesterday morning, and then my mother brought a powerful message last night, and uh, we just had a wonderful time, and I hope you had a great Easter as we celebrated the resurrection of our Lord. I want to thank you for being back with us. Last week, we took a break from um, our chronological reading of the uh, Old Testament, and we took a break and went through the Passion Week, and we had a countdown to the resurrection. But we we're going to get back to our chronological reading of the Old Testament, and um, we're actually finishing up Psalms today. And as uh, I, I, as we were reading, uh, there was a, a a word that just stuck out to me in today's reading, and I want to I want to go to Psalm one forty seven, verses number ten and eleven. It says this. His delight, speaking of God, his delight is not in the strength of a horse, nor his legs of a man. Basically, his delight is not what man can do, but the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in his steadfast love. And I, that word pleasure stuck out to me and, and how uh, important it is to to please our God. You know, as a parent, I really, I took pleasure in my kids listening to me, obeying me. And, and that where it says fear him is not a type of fear like, you know, Adam and Eve, when they sinned, they hid from God and because he said they, they feared him. But he wants the fear to be uh, a respect and honor and, and, and uh, obedience. And so this, this is what that word fear uh uh, engulfs it engulfs obedience to him. And this is what God wants from us. And and those who hope in his steadfast love, another word for that steadfast love in other versions of the Bible says mercy, mercy. So we hope in his mercy. In fact, if you look at 149 uh, verse number four, we see that word pleasure again. For the Lord takes pleasure in people and he adorns the humble with salvation. You see, the Lord uh, wants a people that that will honor him in such a way that he can look down and smile and just take pleasure in us. I want to please God more than anything, and I hope you do too. You know, we're, we, we're not really, uh, you know, we want to please our boss in, in our secular work. We want to please our boss. We want to please those in authority and to be obedient to them. And yes, those things are great. We need to. It's biblical. But more than anything, we need to please the Lord. So uh, this word pleasure, uh, it just it stuck out to me this morning. And then we back up to Psalm 147, 1, and the Psalms end in such a powerful way. It kind of gives the the, the conclusion of the whole book of what we are to do. But notice this, Psalm 147, 1, praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant, I like that word pleasant too, and a song of praise is fitting. It's fitting to praise the Lord. I don't care where you are, what you're doing, it's always fitting, and it's he takes pleasure in that. He loves to hear us praise him and magnify his name. In fact, when we go to Psalm 150, the very last Psalm uh, that is recorded, it says, praise the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in his mighty he in, in heavens, praise him for his mighty deeds, praise him according to his excellent greatness, praise him with trumpet sound. Uh, praise him with the lute and the harp. Praise him with the tambourine and dance. Praise him with the strings and pipe. Praise him with the cymbals, uh, sounding cymbals. Praise him with the loud clashing cymbals. Let everything has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you breathing this morning? Of course you are. So you know what? We should be praising the Lord. So this morning on this wonderful Monday morning, we're going to magnify him, lift our voice up wherever you are. Just give him honor and praise. Thank him for the day. Thank him for, uh, for the, your family. Thank him for your health. You say, well, I'm not healthy. Listen, you thank him for the, you're alive. I told the story a, 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 a couple of weeks ago on here about one of the elderly gentlemen that came here that uh, was in a wheelchair and he raised his hand. He said, I thank the Lord for waking up this morning. We've all got something to thank and praise God for. So today, 
as we face our day, let's face him with praise in our hearts because we've got breath. We're going to praise him and that pleases him. He takes pleasure in that. Father, I thank you for our people today. I pray, God, that no matter what we face, sometimes it's hard to praise because we're going through some difficult circumstances, but you didn't tell us in your word to praise you when it's only good times. We're going to praise you no matter what we face today. And Lord, we lift up your name. I pray you'll go before our people and may this be a great day in the Lord. And we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow morning.